All right, guys. So today we're talking about how to get personal training clients through social media. So specifically Instagram, how we can leverage that platform to actually build our client book. This obviously is useful for both online and face-to-face uh, personal trainers. I think face-to-face PTs underutilize this and then they wonder why they have client books that are maybe a little bit too broad and not really within the market that they want to work with. Um, whereas the online guys obviously know that they need to be a little bit more specific to attract the people they want. So this will work for both camps, whether you're in the gym or face-to-face. The only difference would be if you're face-to-face training, you're just going to direct locally, um, tag the gym that you work in, tag the location, and just try and hone in on people that are close by to you. Whereas online, obviously, you have much more scope that you can reach out a little bit further. When we think about acquiring clients, like one of the main problems that we have people come to us with is like, they're still always permanently stressed about bringing in new business. They don't know where the next client's coming from. The only way they know how to do it is like pick up the phone, get them on the on the gym floor, which to be honest is a faster way to build your client base if you're a face-to-face trainer. And if you don't have a full book, utilize that and just hammer it. The next step or and or if you want to move into the online space is we need to be generating leads, um, hopefully for people coming to you. So imagine being able to attract the clients you want at close your sales consults at 95%, have people ask to work with you rather than the other way around, never have to pick up the phone call for prospects ever again, and open and fill intakes on demand whenever you want. For most people, that kind of sounds like a pipe dream. If you've been following our videos up to this point, obviously the podcast and the blogs as well, you should have everything in order. And if this is the first video that you're watching, watch it and then go back and have a look at everything else. What we've tried to set up for you is how to get your mind on track and have a good mindset to allow yourself to achieve the goals you want to. You know exactly where you're going and what you want to achieve through your good goal setting. You've got a business model that's in place to be efficient and effective. You know exactly who your target client is. You know what their struggles are. You know how to serve them. And you've designed a service around all of that that it's so good that you would want to buy it yourself if you're in the client's position. So starting with Instagram, obviously one of the first things is how do we start building engagement with people? So we're not going to go into like the design stuff. Like you can find that it's pretty straightforward. You want to have a page that when people land on it, it looks good. All right. So let's start with that. If your target audience somewhere between 20 and 40, they're more than likely mostly active on Instagram rather than other platforms. Obviously TikTok and stuff is starting to take off, but it's very challenging, seems to be very challenging to actually monetize everything in there, um, which still puts Instagram at the top of the platform list, at least for us. So these are the numbers that we've worked off. So our silver approach would be 24, four and two, and our gold approach is 44, four and two. So there are magic numbers. The first number, so the 20 or the 40, is how many people you have conversations with or you reach out to each week. Cool, so it's either 20 that you're reaching out to in the DMs or it's 40, depending on how fast you wanna build your business. Next number is how many posts per week. The next number is how many spoken stories. And then last but definitely not least, that two is how many calls to action per week you need to do. So call to action means letting somebody know what you do and how to work with you, which typically will be done in your stories. Silver approach usually returns 0.5 to one client per week on average if it's sustained over a long enough period of time. You can't just turn it on and it happens and turn it off. This is a consistent process. And then the gold approach is somewhere around two to three. Same thing, consistent progress. So when it comes to the outreach side of things, you want to speak to 20 people, you want to speak to 40 people. How we go about that is obviously very important. So the first thing to think about is like the online dating world's made it pretty clear and to be honest, Instagram DMs by the sounds of it, don't lead with a dick pic, don't lead with your pitch, don't lead with your service, don't lead with, hey, do you want personal training or coaching? It's like, it's it's yuck, it's tacky, no one's doing that anymore. When it comes to being effective at DMs, we need to build relationships. So think about it in a couple of steps in terms of like how you engage with people. Step one, build rapport and build a relationship. You want at least one, if not three points where you can see that there's been a a rapport build there. Second, what we want to do is find a pain point. So something that that person's struggling with right now that you can provide a solution to. And then typically we go into 
providing that solution, be it through a resource, a voice message, a continuation of the conversation. And then once we've built that value, that's when we'll say, hey, do you wanna catch up and have an appointment? So who do you DM? New followers are the best ones. They found you, they found your page to be interesting enough to then follow. Then anyone who likes, comments or shares, probably wanna jump on, follow them, get them to follow back and message them. People who react to your stories, who've shared your stories because they obviously find it relatable. Anyone who engages with your polls, quizzes, anything like that in your stories and anyone that you can find common ground with. So the follow for follow is very common and it can look really tacky really quick. Be fairly specific with who you do this with. Make sure that the person you're following on the other end is inside your avatar. You're not just going in and copying someone else's followers and not actually checking to make sure that they resonate with you and what you're looking for. And then give it time. If you're going to go in and do the unfollow thing, give it a while. All right, there's nothing worse than like having the same person follow you and then unfollow you every week. It looks terrible. So how often should you be touching base with people is the next one. So we've created that environment and we went through those steps and let's say, Right now, coaching was an option. They didn't want to book an appointment or you set the resource or whatever. You've come back to them. How was it? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, just not ready for the appointment just yet. If they're keen and you created that rapport and everything seemed to work, once every two weeks is probably a good idea to touch base with them. If they're not, they're a little bit standoffish and not really interested. They just want to watch your content. That's cool. Maybe that person just reach out every four weeks and see how things are going. The goal outcome here is to build trust and a relationship with the person on the other end all right if you have a huge following that's giving you this position of authority already you're going to have to build a relationship that makes this person want to get involved with working with you now i know this process obviously sounds a lot slower than just picking up the phone how's training going do you want an appointment yes no bang next one it will play itself out over time if you're consistent with it really like 20 to 40 DMs is two hours of your week to be really good at this. Maybe four hours with the engagement. It's less than an hour a day to continuously bring leads into your business. It's really not that much time. So the keys to success with the DMs, reach out to new followers and counts who regularly like, view and comment on your posts and stories. Use the appropriate script to begin communication and then touch base and remain in regular contact. All right, you guys will work on your own engagements and what opener works for you, what engagement works for you. Just keep data on what is actually hitting there. So next we want to talk about what are the mistakes that you're likely to make? So we talked about not sending the dick, the dick pic. Don't launch into the sale. Hey, coaching $70, do you want it? Like that's it's not gonna work. You have to go through the same process that you would in a face-to-face relationship. Your goal here is to identify the pain points, build rapport, and then get an appointment via showing some value. You're in a much noisier and more competitive environment online than you are on the gym floor. So we need to provide that value first. Opportunities for engagement can be can be missed sometimes. So just be conscious of who's viewing and connecting with your content. Aim to spend your time engaging with those hot leads as opposed to just messaging that person that you're almost kind of friends with that has no fucking interest in working with you. Be clear in the direction you're trying to take the conversation. So don't fall into the trap of just making friends with every single person you DM. Ask direct questions to determine the potential client is worth investing more time and whether or not they're ready to commit to your offer. You can find a polite way to move on if you feel like the lead isn't going to work out. Not every lead will become a personal training client and that's fine. You're here to figure it out. So that's how to win in the DMs. What we are aiming to do is create contact with someone build rapport, find the main problem that they're dealing with right now, show them how we provide a solution and then bring them onto a call. If you can put that all together continuously, whether it's with 20 or whether it's with 40 people per week, you will definitely start to accumulate appointments and over maybe a four week period, you'll start to see that return of the 0.5 to one and the two to three sales per week over that time frame. Stay tuned for the following video. So make sure if you haven't, just subscribe uh, and hit the blog as well. We're going to keep unpacking this. So we're going to go into the other numbers. So the four, four, and two, where we look at how what's a good Instagram post? What should we be posting about? What stories do we need to be posting about? How do I speak on the story and be effective and build relationships there? And then what's in a good call to action that actually makes people want to reach out and work with me? So they're in upcoming videos. So make sure you're subscribed. If you haven't already, go check out the podcast as well. So it's at STC Fit Learning on Spotify, the Apple Podcast app, anywhere else that you want to look, you'll find us. Thanks, guys.